Hi everyone, welcome to iWay's Glossary series. Today we're talking about identifying forms of abuse. It's really important to be able to identify forms of abuse so you can set boundaries for healthier relationships. Abuse comes in so many forms. Technically, abuse is a pattern of behaviour used to gain and maintain power and control over someone else. When you think of abuse, you lightly think of physical abuse. Physical abuse is when someone deliberately hurts another person. This can include kicking, shaking, hitting or biting. Emotional abuse is speech or behaviour that controls another person. Emotional abuse can often include holding back on love, support, money or communication as a means of maintaining control. Humiliation is a tactic used by your abuser to undermine your self-esteem in order to maintain control. Examples of humiliation include name-calling, public embarrassment and patronisation. Codependency is when one person relies on the other for meeting nearly all of their emotional and self-esteem needs. Common signs are if you're neglecting your own needs for your partner, critiquing yourself through your partner's eyes or feeling guilty when you stand up for yourself. Emotional neglect is a pattern in a relationship where your emotional needs are consistently ignored or unappreciated. Coercive control is when someone repeatedly acts in a way that makes you feel isolated, scared, controlled or dependent. Some examples of coercive control include making demands that are unreasonable, isolating you from your friends and family, verbal or physical threats, monitoring your time and destroying your possessions. Gaslighting is a very effective form of manipulation and psychological control. When someone gaslights you, they repeatedly tell you false information which makes you question the truth. Some gaslighting techniques include withholding, countering, blocking, discounting, undermining and denying. Withholding is when an abuser pretends to not understand a situation or refuses to listen. They might say, I don't want to hear any more of this or we're done talking about this. Countering is when your abuser questions your memory, making you insecure about the sequence of events you can recall. Blocking is a tactic used to stop a conversation. An abuser might switch the topic, accuse you of another motive, or say something along the lines of shut up. Discounting is a form of verbal abuse that minimises your feelings, thoughts or experiences. It's another way of saying that your feelings don't matter. Undermining is a way to lower your confidence and self-esteem. It's a way of saying you don't know what you're talking about. Often, undermining includes interrupting your partner. Denying is when an abuser claims that prior agreements, conversations or abuse never happened. This is classic manipulative behaviour that will lead a victim to doubt their own memory and experiences. To learn more about identifying forms of abuse and how to best protect yourself and your loved ones, head to www.iwaycommunity.com.